What is going on everyone, Wade here. Today we're gonna to talk about removing the defender. We've already gone through other tactics, you can check them out here, here, and here. But today we're gonna to talk about removing the defender and what is removing the defender. So let's have a look at the example here. We've got the queen attacking the other queen. Settle down, ladies. And the king is defending the queen. Now, we could trade queen for queen, but in doing so, we get no material gain. Or we could find a way to remove the king. Now, in this position, we've actually got the rook that can come over and distract the king. So the rook's going to move over. The king is going to be in check. It's going to have to move. Once it moves, then we can take the queen. And here we have an example. Feel free to pause the video and give it a go yourself. See if you can find a way to remove the defender. If you gave it a go and you got it, well done. The answer is to move your rook up to attack the king. So you might be saying we might lose two rooks here for one rook. That is true, but we also remove the defender and then we gain the queen. So the opponent loses a rook and a queen for a total of 14. We lose two rooks, total of 10. Therefore, we gain four points of material. So I hope you learned something today. And if you want to get better at the game, feel free to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.